Hi Scorpio viewers, so today I'm going to look into what your person is thinking, feeling, um, wanting with you, just see what the current energy is. I know the last reading I did for you guys, I got that there was a secret admirer that was kind of watching you, but they were shy, they were a little hesitant to come forward. Um, there was just some uncertainty there, maybe some miscommunication in the past too, or some heartbreak in the past. So let's see where that's at now. Let's see what the energy is right now. So, Scorpio viewers, what do I need to know about your love life? What are the updates? Scorpios, what's the current story? Grove, complicated, hope, movement, it's pretty good energy, trapped, okay, that's interesting, loyalty, individuality, see I'm looking at this reading and like whenever I see this card right here, I always think of this as like being somebody's safe space. Like that's like that space where you can just be open and honest and just say whatever you want to say, you know? Um, I always notice like the kitty here. It's like they're in a, I'm looking at the card more closely now. Yeah, it's like this kitty in the garden. So it's like, I just, I always, this always to me always means like, you know, safe space, like vulnerability, comfortability. Um, just being able to be open and it just it's like that cuddly warm kind of energy so this is either what your person wants or if you guys you know have started talking this is kind of how you see each other um for most of you i just think this is like kind of how your person sees the connection but they also know that it's complicated they do have hope about your connection um and they are trying to move forward towards you, but there's something that's blocking them. There's something that's blocking the connection here. See, trapped, and then we have loyalty and individuality. It's almost like they're loyal. It's almost like it's saying, I don't know what this is trying to say. It's almost like saying this. their loyalty kind of lies with themselves. Um, trying to make sense of this. Could also be that they see you as somebody who's sort of... Um, like independent and doesn't really need anybody and so they're questioning like like if you're actually a loyal person if you're actually capable of like you know being with just one person or being to being pursuing just one person or or you know they, they're I guess they're just for whatever reason there's some kind of issue that is regards loyalty with this um connection so I think, yeah, for some of you, it's saying that their loyalty is to themselves. And so there's maybe there's some sort of distrust there almost. Um, and then for others, I kind of feel like the, your person is just... I mean, we did get that they were a secret admirer, so they might still be doubting the connection just because, you know, maybe you guys just started talking or maybe you guys aren't talking yet and they're still thinking about whether or not they should come forward. They're not sure if you're actually interested or not. Um... And so they're kind of wondering if your loyalty, maybe for some of you, they're wondering if your loyalty just lies with yourself. Maybe they feel like you're not someone that really dates or you're not somebody that, you know, pays attention to just one person. Maybe they think that you kind of like playing the field a little bit. So yeah, that's pretty much where we're at. It's just your secret admirer is noticing you. They do have hope and they do want to move forward. But for some reason, they see this block here. They see this like, eh. Like, I kind of want to move forward. I kind of, I don't know how much I trust this. Maybe I should keep my open op my options open instead, you know? Maybe I should see what else is out there and see, you know, if I can find somebody who I feel would be more loyal. I don't know. It's a, it's a weird energy. Hmm. Huh. Trying to figure out what to make of it. I'm going to pull some tarot cards and see what else I can get on it. 
this card just came out, so it's like, it's fulfillment. It's like there is a very deep soulmate or twin flame connection here. I think it's just the... There's either, either you guys aren't communicating yet, like they might just be watching you and you guys aren't talking yet and you don't even know who this person is, or you guys might be talking a little bit, but there's like, it's like you're trying to read each other and you just can't, I don't know, it's kind of confusing energy, but it's like the fulfillment card is here, so it's like this would be somebody that you would be um, happy with, like this is somebody that would be really good for you, this is somebody that you would be really close to. Um, you know, the energy I get from this, from the people that I'm channeling, it's like they are, they are very deep, but they're a little bit, I think they might be a little bit mistrusting, um, but, this is a weird reading, I almost just think they're very, they're, it's weird, because it's like they're shy, but they're confident too. It's a really strange energy. It's like they're shy, but they are confident. Like they, they have very high standards. They, they kind of wait before they give their everything to somebody. So it's almost like this person is like watching, but they don't know about you yet. They don't know. They don't know how trustworthy you are. Um, hmm. I don't know. It's weird. Let me get, let me see what I can get from the cards. Cause it's very like, it's, it's just contradicting energy. You know what I mean? Where I'm like, the love is there, that very strong, deep spiritual bond is there, but then there's like this shy kind of energy that I get at the same time, so I'm trying to figure out what that is trying to tell you guys. Um, let me pull some cards, we'll see what happens. Let's see what happens. All right, Scorpio viewers, what do you need to know about your connection? What else is there to say about this connection? What else is there to say about this connection? Knight of Pentacles, Nine of Swords, hmm, Six of Swords, interesting, Queen of Swords, Ten of Cups, King of Pentacles, hmm, ooh, the Empress, that's actually a pretty good soulmate bond right there, the Empress with the King of Pentacles, that's like... It's like a man who's financially stable or getting to a point where he's financially stable and grounded and knows what he wants. And then you have the Empress here, which is, you know, very similar energy, in my opinion, at least in this reading. It's like somebody who's, they have that motherly energy, but they're very strong and confident and powerful. And they're very, they're very loving and empathetic and nurturing, um, but very assertive and honest and confident at the same time. So it's a pretty good match. It's actually, it looks like a pretty good reading here. You might have pushed for um, some truth in the past and not so you didn't really like what you found out and you got into the Nine of Swords energy. I also see this as being kind of strict. It's like truth and responsibility and it's it's good. It's you know, it's moving forward. It's good energy, but it's almost like a stubborn energy. Like it's almost too strict and too serious. Um, and then we have you in the Nine of Swords and this is the past. And I feel like it was kind of like you were in this energy where it's like you were self-sabotaging, you, your fear, your worry, your doubt, your overthinking, your overanalyzing, your um, just that energy, that Nine of Swords energy that you were in um, was kind of like almost manifesting a negative reality. It was, it's like you were just too serious and in your head too much almost. It's like, I don't know, I just, for whatever reason, I just get serious energy from the Knight of Pentacles and the Knight of Swords in this reading. Um, it just, it seems like self-sabotage to me. But with the Six of Swords, it's like you left that behind. You became a new person. Um, you started a new life. And you're in your Queen of Swords energy. It's like you're, you're powerful and you're logical and you're strong and confident. Um... 
you know, swords, it's always kind of like a mental, it's like a more assertive, sometimes harsh energy. But I feel pretty good about the queen of swords in this reading. It's like, it's like you're in that energy where you're, because we had the sword energy before, but now it's like you're taking all your mental power, like, because you, you have a very strong mind. And so your mind can kind of play tricks on you and it can put you in that nine of swords energy where you're overthinking. But now what you're doing is you're, you're moving forward with your life. You've, you've been doing that. And you're in this Queen of Swords energy where you're um, you're using your mental power and your intelligence and creativity and all that energy for good now. You know what I mean? You're 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 ahead of the game. You're you're more grounded, um, more logical, more emotional. Um, and you know because of that, because that you because you were willing to leave that energy behind in the past, and you're willing to. Um, you know, become the person you want to be. You're now manifesting love with this ten of cups. You you have a love offer here. It looks like with the um, the king of pentacles. This is somebody who's who's stable, who's who's pretty secure, who um, you know grounded, uh, probably loyal to, and and you're in this empress energy. Which is like a very, you know, nature-based, motherly, loving, empathetic, soft, yet strong energy. It's like the best of both worlds is how I see the Empress. It's like she's everything. Um, and with the King of Pentacles, I feel like that's a really, that's a very strong, very deep, very stable, very grounded um, connection or relationship here. Um, it's very, it's a very deep spiritual bond it's just I just sense stability like when I look at the king of pentacles and the empress in this reading it's like it's just a very like strong loyalty that, that you know the possibility for that at least but I know last reading we got it was just a secret admirer so who knows if you guys are even talking yet this could just be what they're um you know how they feel about it and what they're thinking and what it could be but it hasn't doesn't mean that it's necessarily manifested yet um Can I get some clarification on the King of Pentacles and the Empress? Can you tell me anything else about this couple? Tell me anything else. Tell me something else about this. God, what do I want to ask specifically? It's so hard for me to get, tell if you guys are like talking or not. Like if they're just watching you, if you're actually talking, I don't know. Because like the energy I got from the first um, spread that we did... It was like there was like this shyness, but it was like an assertiveness too. It's like this person had, it's like your person is kind of, has a weird mix of qualities. It's like they're shy, but they're also very assertive. It's like they're, they're very feminine and soft, but very like strong and masculine too at the same time. It's like they, well, they're, yeah. Um, hmm. This is interesting. Okay. So what is, what's going on with the connection? Like, tell me more about that connection. I don't know why. I mean, I've been listening to that song. Um, what's that song? Take time for the wanted man because he likes to heal. He likes to steal. I'm half the man I used to be. I forget what the name of that song is. I've been listening to it lately, but I'm like, why is it, why does it keep coming up? <laughs> The High Priestess, the Two of Swords, Three of Wands, King of Wands. Ooh, that's pretty good. Eight of Wands. All right, all right. It's a star. Yeah. So I feel like you're either making a choice between, like you're digging deep and you're making a choice either between two people or two energies. So I think you're kind of at a point where it's like, I don't know, I'm trying to figure this, this energy out. I almost like sense frustration from the secret admirer, like either, either they just, they don't, like they feel like they're left in the dark, like they want it to go one way or another, you know what I mean? Like I kind of feel that energy, it's really, I'm trying to, I'm trying to tune into this energy and figure it out. Um, I mean, if this person hasn't confessed their feelings for you yet, maybe they're just, they're, maybe the frustration is with themselves. Like, maybe they're just kind of frustrated with themselves because they're, like, they're not sure how to come forward and they're not sure, they're just not sure what to say. There's just, it's like an awkwardness almost. It's like they don't really know what to say. Um, or if you guys are talking, it could just be, like, frustration. Like, they're, like, 
like they I don't know like almost like they don't know what to make of you kind of or like they don't they just don't know if they trust you or not I guess in some weird way um or like maybe I'm trying to figure that energy out like maybe they're just there's just a lack of clarity I don't know how to explain it um it's like what we, like the first spread. It's like we got that they that they want to move forward with you. They want to pursue, but there's a block there, and they're like aware of the block. And I think they're kind of waiting to see if that block gets removed or not. I mean, whatever whatever your story is, like you'll know if it resonates if it's your story. Um, whatever it is, though, I, I just sense I just sense frustration. Whether it's frustration with themselves um, or frustration with you. I just kind of sense that they want you to take the lead more. They want more clarity for whatever reason. They just, they feel like they don't really fully understand. Like they don't really have clarity. I mean, if you guys are just now talking or just now getting to know each other, I guess if you just met this person recently, um, maybe they just don't have a lot of patience that could be it like because it kind of seems like an all in or all out kind of person so and if they're talking to other people too they might kind of want like an answer they want to know if this is going somewhere or not like they're kind of they don't know how to take things slow i don't think or maybe they were trying to maybe they were trying to get your attention for a while and they couldn't and they just kind of got over it so like they're at a point where they're like eh is it do what are we doing what are we doing are we in or out <laughs> You know, it's that kind of energy. It's really interesting. Um, but yeah, there's there's just frustration that needs to be addressed for whatever reason. Um, the high priest is here. Oh yeah, I'm sorry. I don't know why I got off on a tangent. Um, yeah, what I was saying is there either like. This is you either choosing between two people or two energies. So, for for some of you, I feel like this is like this is you and this is you, and with the two of swords here, it's like you're choosing to be the high priestess. You're choosing to be this powerful, seductive, confident, um, intuitive, wom empathic woman, like just a very powerful, like spiritual leader, basically. Um, and then this energy, the three of wands, whenever I see her, I just see like a karmic or I see someone who's like toxic or negative or bitter or just kind of insecure and likes to show off. And with that being reversed, I kind of feel like it's saying like you're not choosing that. It's like this could be like an ex or like a karmic or something or like some past energy or like past relationship patterns or like a certain type you used to go for. And you're like, no, I want... The, I want the high priestess instead. I want this like spiritual leader. I want somebody who's different than what I've had in the past. Um, for others, I kind of feel like this is actually like your personality basically is maybe in the past you used to be like this defensive kind of toxic person. It was like a, it like it was, it seemed like confidence to others, but it wasn't genuine confidence. It was more like um, just show off, you know? And, and you're choosing to be this, um, this high priestess instead. You're choosing to let go of this energy, let go of the, the fear and the pride and the ego and let go of, um, it's just, it's just like this pretentious kind of energy. It's like you're choosing to let that go and you're choosing, um, to be powerful in a much different way, in a much more authentic way. It's like genuine confidence versus, you know, just this fake sense sense of confidence. It's it's like you're digging deep and you have genuine confidence now and you're choosing to be the high priestess instead of the three of wands. Um, and I think because of that choice, whether it's, again, whether it's you choosing this energy like this person or whether it's you choosing to be this person, whatever it is, it's manifesting your true love. It's manifesting your, um, you know, this is like a very deep bond. I sense a very, very deep, very open, spiritual, just a vulnerability. I sense like this very romantic kind of vulnerable energy from this reading. Um, and so you're, mani yeah, you're manifesting your, your person. You're manifesting your king of wands. This is somebody who's passionate and um, charismatic and powerful, um, just like the high priestess. Um, you know, this is, again, this is your match. Again, I keep getting stable energy, very, like, stable, grounded, strong, loyal, like, romantic energy here. Um, 
And with the Eight of Wands, it's like, it's this, this, it's the same kind of charisma. It's, it's like this passion. It, it's this, the whole reading talks a lot about passion. So I think you're kind of, either they're getting excited or you're getting excited realizing you have this connection in front of you. And this is like, you know, this is just energy. It's just, it's going forward. It's, it's again, passion. It's just moving forward. And with the star, this is all about hope and planting seeds and manifesting what you want out of um, love and out of um, relationships and just life in general. It's kind of just like making your life what you want it to be. It's like there's a lot of hope. There's a lot of like bright, new, fresh, loving, um, romantic, spiritual kind of energy here. So, um, and yeah, there's that excitement and moving forward. So it, it's, it's good. It's, um, it's just interesting though, because like the first spread I did was kind of different than this energy. And it's almost like, it's almost like these, for whatever reason, it's like these cards are telling me what is there, but it's not necessarily what you realize is there or what they realize is there. Like neither, like I think somebody's starting to realize it. I think somebody is starting to recognize it, but it's like. It's like with that first spread, though, I almost want to say that this is what it could be. This is what is. This is, it's that deep. It's that, it's that powerful. It's that stable. Um, but, but with the first spread, it's almost like one or both of you isn't fully seeing that yet. It's interesting because with the first spread, it was like somebody wanted to move forward, but there was like a block there and they saw the block and they were very hesitant because of that. Um... And they were kind of questioning and doubting a little bit. I think honesty and openness is, and vulnerability is your best bet right now. Um, hmm. It's just such a confusing energy because it's like that. It's, it's, it's such a deep connection, but it's like this per, your person doesn't like, like they kind of know it, but they kind of are in their head and kind of doubting it at the same time. You know what I mean? Like they kind of feel like this, like maybe it is this deep spiritual connection, but then part of them is like, oh, I bet they're talking to other people, or I bet they're they're too independent and probably not dating, or I bet there's like they reading too much into things, like oh, I bet they're you know it probably wouldn't go anywhere. There's probably this block or that block. Like I got to be logical, but it's like they're wanting to come forward and see, but it's kind of like they step they dip their foot in the water and then they're like, hmm, I don't know, maybe maybe not. <laughs> It's weird because they felt more open in the last reading I did for you guys. And it's like something happened. I don't know if like maybe they got in their head about something. Like maybe something could be anything. Maybe like an ex triggered them or maybe somebody, maybe you triggered them. Maybe something else triggered them. Maybe they saw like something. I don't know what it would be. But just there's something there that kind of made them like question, like kind of get scared and kind of question the connection. Be like, eh, maybe I don't want to do this. Because I feel like they're... God, what is that energy? It's so weird. Is it possible for some of you guys that, like, they think you're talking to somebody else? Like, are you posting... Like, are you posting, like, pictures of, like, you with another guy? Or are you saying, like, oh, I'm going on a date with this guy or, the, or whoever? And, like, like, your person is, like, kind of watching that and they're like, eh... I'm trying to figure that energy out. Well, either way, if this is your reading, you probably know what that energy is. Maybe I'm not meant to know. Maybe it's personal for you guys. Maybe that's why I'm not being shown what it is specifically, because maybe it's just personal and you guys already know what that energy is, and so I shouldn't get too deep into it. Um, but, but yeah, this person doesn't half-ass it, and this person is kind of like... Like, they just get really attached, I think, and so they want to know if you're worth getting attached to, because I think they fall really hard. Um, I think that when they would love someone, they really love them. Um, so I think that your person is kind of just like, I don't know, like they're keeping their guard up with you. They don't seem as open and trusting with you as they were before. They seem more guarded. They seem more like they're questioning more and they're kind of more seeing what else is out there and kind of keeping their options open and kind of thinking maybe I should just, uh, you know, maybe I should date somebody that's around, like, around me what does that mean I don't fucking know yeah I don't want to go in circles with you guys I don't know why I'm not able to figure this energy out more um 
but it is what it is. It, it is that deep spiritual connection. It is a very deep emotional romantic bond. It's, it's a very close bond. Um, or that's what it develop at least. That's what's there underlying um, is what I feel. But, uh, you know, for whatever reason your person is frustrated, either they haven't come forward and they're frustrating themselves because they're too shy to come forward, or they have, but for some reason there's just like a, they just see a block. They see something like something that makes them hesitate. So you got to decide if you know who this person is, you got to decide, do you want to, do you want to do something or say something to make them not hesitate anymore? Or do you want to let them go? Cause this person kind of seems like an all in all out person. So it's like, they like you, but, but when, if they decide something's not good for them, that's their decision. You know, they're kind of stubborn like that, I think. So like, I mean, you have this a person's attention now. And if you know who this person is, I would, I would try to keep their attention, you know, because I feel like their attention is, is going to go elsewhere soon if you don't, basically, is that energy I feel. I don't know why they're so confused. I don't know what the frustration's about, but, um, but yeah, that's the energy I get from this reading, is that that's how they're feeling, and that needs to either be cleared up now, and there needs to be honesty and vulnerability between you two, or you will probably go separate ways, and somebody else will be coming along in the future, eventually. I don't know when, but... Um, yeah, that's the energy I get. So thank you guys for watching and please uh, subscribe if it resonates.